Welcome to the Cunningham Piano Show, where we explore life between the keys. I'm your host, Hugh Sung, and in this episode, I'd like to welcome Riva Segretti. Riva, welcome to the show. Thank you. Did I say your last name right? Oh, yes. <laughs> cool. I was practicing really, really hard. <laughs> so, Riva, how old are you? I'm 10 years old. And how old were you when you got started and started playing the piano? Um, I was four years old, and I've been playing for about six years. Amazing. Wow. Do you remember taking lessons when you were four years old? No. Now, what got you started? Were you the one that wanted to start, or how did you start uh, showing interest in the piano? Well, my sister used to play piano, and I used to come to her classes, and when I heard this beautiful instrument, I was like, wow, it sounds pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got started. You, you asked your parents to, to start? Is that how that worked? Yes. Wonderful. So tell me who you study with now. Who is your teacher? I study with Miss Svetlana Zuk. And what is she like? Is she what's she like to work with? Um, she's very thorough with when it comes to pieces. And if I like make any small mistakes, she doesn't let it go. She like gets it right all the time. <laughs> that's I think that's one of the most interesting things about learning to play the piano that we actually, you know, our teachers really criticize us a lot. <laughs> And in some other way, in some other maybe um, hobbies, if you get criticized, we feel bad, right? We feel sad. But when we're playing the piano, when we get criticized, we actually feel, how do you feel? Um, I feel like I should try to fix it next time, and I don't, like, feel bad. It doesn't anything. hurt your feelings, right? No. You, and because you know that those things are going to make you better and better, right? Mm -hmm. Is that interesting? Uh, one of the cool things about this show is the fact that we invite our guests to choose from a range of pianos, the instrument that they want to perform on for their episode. And in this instance, Riva, you have chosen a beautiful Busendorfer 200 grand piano. Why did you choose this piano? Well, at home, my piano doesn't make, like, some of the keys don't, like, press sound as hardly. But when I play this, like, every key is, like, loud and clear for me. <laughs> you picked one of the most expensive pianos in the <laughs> store, too. Good choice. <laughs> Excellent choice. And tell us a little bit, what are you going to play for us today? I will be playing Waltz and G by Bedrit Smetana. Okay. Ooh, that was a... So, t what's this piece like? What do you feel like when you play this Waltz and G? Well, this piece is a type of dance music because, mm. as you know, it's a waltz. Mm -hmm. And... Well, I feel like I want to like get up and dance when I play this piece because it's very lively. Wonderful. Well, I look forward to hearing you play this waltz in G. Thank you. Riva, that was so lovely. That made me want to get up and dance. I really enjoyed your performance. And actually, it's interesting that you chose a waltz because you actually do like to dance. Can you tell us a little bit about your dancing? Well, I enjoy to do Indian dancing. Wow. And how long have you been studying how to dance? How long have you been studying Indian dance? Um, about the same as piano, maybe six years. Wow, wonderful. I wish we had a different setup. I would love to, to see your dances. Is it very hard to, to study? Is it very difficult? Um, it gradually gets harder as you move on and mm -hmm. learn. Wonderful. Well, Riva, thanks again for sharing that lovely piece. Thanks for sharing your time with us and for being on the show. Thank you. And if you enjoyed watching this episode, do subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new ones. For the Cunningham Piano Show, I'm Hugh Sung. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.